Deutsch Contacts. Deutsch offers two styles of contacts, stamped and formed, and solid. Both contact types use a crimp style termination, eliminating the need for solder. All Deutsch contacts have a solid raised shoulder for high tensile strength pin retention, and no retention tangs are required. Deutsch sockets feature an integral closed entry stainless steel sleeve to protect the split socket tines. To provide exceptional durability, performance, corrosion, and oxidation resistance, contacts are made from copper alloys and are finished with quality plating options, including nickel, tin, and gold. Deutsch solid contacts are designed for use in low volume production runs, in field service, and where high mating cycles occur. Stamped and formed contacts are designed for large quantity production runs, where wire termination costs are of primary concern without sacrificing reliability of electrical circuits. Stamped and formed style contacts are sold on reels and terminate wire from 10 to 22 gauge. They are available in three sizes that accommodate a wide range of wire insulation. Stripping. You can use any standard wire stripper. Choose the correct contact for the gauge wire you are using. Strip the wire to the appropriate length based on the contact being used. See drawings for full specifications. Be sure to strip off all of the insulation without clipping or bending any of the strands. Perform a visual inspection to make sure you have a good clean stripped wire. If you have cut or bent any of the wires, cut the end off and start again. Crimping solid contacts using hand tools. For this demonstration, the HDT-48-00 hand crimp tool is being used. This tool will crimp sizes 12, 16, and 20 solid contacts. To crimp sizes 4 and 8 solid contacts, the HDT-04-08 hand crimp tool is required. See your Deutsch catalog for more information. Begin with a stripped wire. On the crimp tool, raise the selector knob and rotate it until the arrow is aligned with the wire gauge to be crimped. Loosen the lock nut and turn the adjusting screw in until it stops. Insert the contact into the opening with the crimp barrel up. Turn the adjusting screw counterclockwise until the contact is flush with the indenter cover. You should be able to see the edge of the contact, but it should not be raised. The contact must be centered between the indicators. Tighten down the lock nut, but do not over tighten. Insert the stripped wire into the contact. Squeeze the handles closed. The handles will only open if the crimp is complete. Release the handles and remove the crimped contact. Inspect the crimp by referring to the solid contact crimp inspection section of this video segment. Please note that the tool must be adjusted for each type or size of contact. Crimping stamped and formed contacts using hand tools. For this demonstration, a DTT-16-00 hand crimp tool is being used. This style of tool will crimp size 16 stamped and formed contacts that accept size 14 through 16 wire gauge. Begin with a stripped wire. Cycle the crimp tool to the open position. Place the contact into the correct die nest. Partially close the tool until the contact is held in place. Insert the stripped wire into the contact. Squeeze the handles closed until the ratchet releases. The ratchet will only release when a loud click is heard and the crimp is complete. Inspect the crimp by referring to the stamped and formed contact crimp inspection section of this video segment. Crimping Quick Connect Contacts For this demonstration, the AF8-TH163 hand crimp tool is being used. This tool will crimp sizes 16 and 20 quick connect contacts. To crimp size 22 quick connect contacts, the MH860 hand crimp tool and the 86-5 crimp tool positioner are required. See your Deutsch catalog for more information. Begin with a stripped wire. On the crimp tool, raise the wire gauge selector knob and rotate it until the arrow is aligned with the wire gauge to be crimped. Release the contact size selector and turn until the line is pointing to the contact size to be crimped. Push the contact size selector down 
until it snaps into latched position. Insert the contact into the opening with the crimp barrel up. Insert the stripped wire into the contact. Squeeze the handles closed. The handles will only open if the crimp is complete. Release the handles and remove the crimped contact. Inspect the crimp by referring to the Solid Contact Crimp Inspection section of this video segment. Please note that the tool must be adjusted for each type or size of contact. Solid Contact Crimp Inspection For solid contacts, correct crimp assembly can be checked visually. The removed insulation should expose a conductor length that will pass beyond the inspection hole in the contact and still reveal 1 32nd to 3 32nd of an inch of conductor between the contact and the insulation on the wire. In production settings, crimp tensile strength should be checked periodically. Consult drawings for full specifications. Unacceptable crimps on solid contacts would include wire strands not visible in the inspection hole in the contact crimp barrel, wire strands that are missing, flayed, or curved outside the crimp barrel. This will produce a bad crimp even if the wire is captured into the crimped area. Damaged wire strands, including any wires that are cut or bent. Contacts that are not securely fastened onto the wire. Stamped and formed contact crimp inspection. For stamped and formed contacts, correct crimp assembly can be checked by measuring the height and width of the crimp. Consult drawings for full specifications. Unacceptable crimps on stamped and formed contacts would include wire strands not visible on both sides of the conductor crimp, wire strands that are missing, flayed, or curved outside the crimp. This will produce a bad crimp even if the wire is captured into the crimped area. Damaged wire strands, including any wires that are cut or bent. Insulation wings that are not tightly wrapped around the wire insulation can create problems with contact insertion and removal.